So we were working on getting back out to Washington and we got a phone call. You guys don't know the story, this was all happening in the background, but uh, our beef, our fat steer that we had butchered, uh, was done. And now we have it all packed up in nice packages, uh, ready to go in this freezer. So, um, I don't know how many of you have ever done this before in your life, but raising your own beef is an interesting experience. You know, I don't want to try to make a point on whether or not this is the right thing to do for you, but raising your own meat, if you're a meat-eating type, is something that's possible and it's totally worth your time. So if you want to watch me, I'll fill up my freezer and I'll show you some of the cuts that you get when you have a beef slaughtered. I've already got quite a bit in here. I usually put ground beef on the top, steaks in the middle, roasts down here, next level. I usually put the soup bones and the stew meat over here, the less valuable cuts but harder to find because there's fewer of them. Um, and I'll just keep loading up as I go. Of course it won't be perfectly organized but we'll go as we go. Short ribs, yum! this year. Um, as you can tell, quite a bit of ground beef in the beef. Something I've got to tell you though, this beef was underweight. Um, I was planning on, you know, if I was doing it right, I would have had him butchered in the spring. But since we're moving, we decided that it would be easier to move him frozen in the freezer than it would be on the hoof. Um, that was kind of a personal decision that we made. So, you know, a full beef probably would have filled this freezer and this would have been three quarters of a beef. Um, it's, it's a great feeling though to have your own meat. Uh, you know, with time, I would love to learn how to process the whole thing myself. Gotta take baby steps though, one thing at a time, right? But with this meat, I know my family's taken care of for a while. As long as I can keep this freezer running, right? <laughs> anyway, I'll fill it up the rest of the way with the stuff from previous years. our full freezer. Doesn't have very much for fruits and vegetables this year. Kind of a bummer. We put most of those on the shelf on cans instead of in the freezer. But frozen vegetables seem to go a little better than the stuff out of the can. Anyway, get this closed up so that cold air can stay in there. Anyway, um, interesting points. Cost about 260 bucks to have this cut and wrapped. That's not too bad. Uh, 
It's our poor man's food around here. Growing most of the food that the cow needs to eat, it didn't cost, cost a lot of time, but it didn't cost a lot of money. Interesting note, uh, with our butcher, he's a really awesome guy. Uh, the business has been in business for quite a few generations now. It was within the Gillette family and then it's been passed on um, outside of the Gillette family, but they still do an excellent job. Lance's custom cutting in Declo, Idaho. You're probably not around to use it. They're not USDA certified, but in this situation they don't need to be. It's my meat. I trust them. I'll cook it when it's done. You know, as long as they're not selling it to the public as a meat pro or processed meat, um, they can do what they do and, and I'll be happy for it. 260 bucks to have that cut and wrap. It's pretty good stuff, especially when you grow it yourself. Anyway, I've got other work to do. I better get on it. You know, as I'm working on packing up my camera and stuff, it's occurring to me that I've got a lot of video footage. And unless I can cut this video down, thank you for sticking around. I hope my life is interesting. But you guys seem to enjoy what I've been doing and what my family has been doing, and I appreciate that so much. So, you know, I was meaning to have a video about the design of our yurt done and up by now. It's on its way. In fact, later tonight, my wife and I will be sitting down and putting that together. It'll be maybe a day or two before you see it. Max. I might even have it uploading soon too. So stay tuned. If you want to see how awesome the design of our yurt is and some of our thoughts about it, stick, it, uh, stick around. Um, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe and it'll give you a notification when it comes up. Stumbling over my tongue. Blah, blah. Audrey and I have really appreciated all of your support, guys. Um, as you've been well aware, this new homestead adventure is taking its toll and it is wearing us out and we're hitting lots of roadblocks but every single time I put up a video about it everybody's there to support me and my wife thank you I'm, I really mean it thank you uh, you know if there's other people out there that are in my situation and they need support let me know about it so I can lift them up I think if we all learn how to lift each other together the world will be a better place anyways guys thanks as always for taking this journey with me on simple ground thanks for sticking with me